Another accident involving a bright line train, this time in Hollywood. It comes a day after a father was killed after the high speed train slammed into his pickup truck. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with what's being done to prevent more tragedies on the tracks. Terrell. And it has become a constant problem. Drivers ignoring the crossing gates and flashing lights just to try to beat a train. And as we saw here today at this intersection, that decision could be life threatening. <laughs> Brightline trains are back in service on the tracks in Hollywood just hours after a train collided with the white Jeep. That SUV left mangled on the side of the tracks after witnesses spotted the vehicle speeding just seconds before the crash. He was chasing with the train down Dixie. He must have seen the barriers down. He tried to do a zigzag to get around. The impact forced the surrounding streets to be shut down around North Dixie Highway and Garfield Street. He got ejected out of the Jeep. They he had to push the truck off him. The crash was the second serious collision for Brightline in two days. On Monday, 27-year-old Jake Breshnahan was killed when he drove his truck around the downed crossing arms in Pompano Beach. Investigators blaming both crashes on drivers circumventing the safety features at the crossing. The one minute that you have to wait for that crossing arm to go up is not worth your life. The latest figures show at least 64 people have died since 2018 in Brightline related collisions. But operators of the high speed commuter rail service have outlined a $45 million public private funding plan to enhance safety at the tracks, all aimed at preventing vehicle and pedestrian collisions. It involves raising the pavement and adding more high visibility signage at the crossing gates and adding more fencing along its tracks. I mean, this, for example, like you see how short that is, that could definitely go out farther. And just over half of the price tag for this multi-million dollar safety enhancement project would be paid through a federal grant. But that funding source has not yet been finalized. It is a work in progress. But Brightline believes that if and when it comes through, nearly 100 lives could be saved over the next 20 years. Reporting live from Hollywood tonight, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Okay.